doing things. Are you a kid? Um, I'm 18, so I don't know what you would consider that as. Okay. But. No, I have to make sure because I know it's illegal to be on with a child. So I have to yeah. make sure. I'm, I'm, I wanna... Yeah, I'm, I'm, eight, I'm 18. <laughs> oh, you're 18. How are you? Where yeah. are you coming in from? I'm good. Um, New Jersey. Oh, cool. I'm in New York City. Are, are you having dinner? Um, I just came back from the gym, but I might eat after this too. Oh, okay. Just a pre a pre dinner actually, pre dinner, yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Um, what's what your you cultural doing? background? Um, West African. Guinea. Oh, you're West African. You are the one requesting for the match. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, I just asked. Oh my God. Okay, well, my background. I'm Jamaican been living here in the city for a very long time so i was telling the guys on the live that in a jamaican household sundays is like a big day we always make like a really good dinner if you don't cook oh. any other day yeah sundays is a must no eating out it's rare that you eat out on a sunday so so oh, it's that's, cool. that's really nice though yeah it's cool it's always been that way since i was a child so i try to keep that up with my children so that's, so that's so what thing. are you in college now you said that you're 18. yeah i'm going to college this fall oh nice what are you going to study in, in August, yeah. um architecture and civil engineering oh nice nice i like yeah. that make sure you go and do your thing um i came here as a teen and i ensured that i got a college degree and that's what i'm living off today i'm able to go out and have a good fulfilling career so oh. make sure that whatever you love to do even if it's a trade make sure you do something don't just sit back and say whatever no that does not work out so right. i wish Thank you good you so luck on that I path and i hope that you do well and i know you will so Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. I, I have a 16 year old son and, you know, I like to oh. give young men encouragement and to see you guys do great. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. I really I'm appreciate happy. that. Yeah. Yes, Guys, don't give her a follow. She gave me a great advice. <laughs> give her a follow. She deserve it. Yeah. Thank you. I've been working yeah. with children for a very long time. So that's where my passion is. And I always um, love to work with young people because I like to see when you guys succeed and could come back and say, oh, you know, I've accomplished this or I'm doing that. That makes me such a proud person. So, yeah, I mean, so, that, so I guess I would say it's in my DNA to do stuff like that. So it's okay. Yeah. yeah. So you do so you have siblings? That. You're welcome. Um, yeah. Yeah. I have siblings back home and some here. Mostly the ones I have here is like my cousin, but it's like we live together, so I consider it. Like, okay, so it's more like a brother, yeah, yeah. sister situation. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. That's good. It's great to have siblings. I have a lot of siblings, so I know how it is. Yeah. I have yeah. oh, two older brothers back home and one little two little sisters, and then I live with my cousins here. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Look at that. So do you go home often or you don't really go there? Um, I was I was there this past summer. I didn't go this oh, year. Oh, nice. Oh, Maybe good. Because I have to get ready for college and stuff. Of yeah. course, and all of that money, I know. Trust me. I know it's yeah. costly to travel Hard. to go home. Yeah. Yeah. But that's cool, though. Enjoy your siblings. It's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so, you know, as I was saying before, um, so you found your college that you're going to go to already? Yeah, somewhere in New York, Syracuse, same the college. Oh, you're going upstate. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Just stay away from peer pressure and try not to let people lead you into things that you don't want to do. Yeah. Yeah, because I know so many mm -hmm. people go away to college and they then they become bench drinkers and they do yeah. all they party out their college years they don't do well as they should yeah. you know so just try to know what you're going for and don't yield to peer pressure because that will just turn your 
entire future backwards. So you just have to know what you're doing. Trust Especially me, have... with, with my religion, I can't do all of that. So. Oh, what's your religion? I'm Muslim. Oh, you're so, Muslim. Okay. No, no, no drinking, no smoking. Oh, no good. Life, so no, I, I'm not worried about yeah. you then. You are on the right <laughs> path. So <laughs> That's like a thing to also help me, you know, stay on track. Yes. That's good. I'm excited for that because, um, you know, it, it's a lot of times I tell people that the way you were raised can make you who you are. Because like my two, ch I have two children and they were both born here in America, but I raised them as just the way that my parents raised me in Jamaica. Wow. So yeah, I try to yeah, instill okay. greatness into them and let them know what greatness is all about. Oh, we had a yeah. draw. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so funny. Wow. Yeah. You want to yeah. rematch? Yeah, you can rematch. Yeah. Okay. I guess you have to press the thing because you sent me the invite, right? Because I, I don't mm -hmm. see anything on my side to press. Okay. okay. Yeah, so... um. You know, a lot of times people are like, oh, you know, your children, they're so different. But it's the way that I was raised. I remember, right, I'm going to tell you a story. When I came to New York City, I went back to high school for like a year. And the kids, like I met some people there and they had this thing called hooky party. I don't think they have that anymore. So what hooky party is, they would leave school, like they would cut class and go to one of the students home and have a party during the daytime. Oh, wow. That's, that's... So... <laughs> yeah, that's so it, it, it used to be a lot of those. And I remember they were inviting me one day and boy, I told him, I was like, my mother would hooky me. That's exactly what I told him. <laughs> Uh, that's why right. so, exactly I because i i now. know i know that there would be i would be in a lot of trouble with my parents because they don't raise me that way for me to do stuff like that yeah. so this is what i'm yeah. telling you it's so much peer pressure and if i was one of those kids i you know be like whatever i'm gonna go whatever happens no you can't look at life that way you have to remember your values your culture yeah. your parents and how you were raised those are very important. You never forget those things. Otherwise, you will not be a successful member of your community because you forget who you are. And once you forget that's who you are, then it's a wrap. So that's 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 the best advice I had so far about college, man. <laughs> that's, you guys should also listen down there in the comments. You know, it's. <laughs> Really good yeah, I, I, as I said, I'm, I'm, I went all the way to a master's level, so I know, yeah, and it's not easy. Sometimes you feel like giving up because the studies are so much, but you just take them one, one class at a time, one day at a time, just study. You know, I know you're a smart young man. You'll do it. When when you start you seeing the benefits, then you're gonna be like, oh my god, you know. Lady Charm was right. It's it's paying <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you know, I just wish you a lot of luck, and I wish you blessings and everything great that's gonna come to you in your young life and as you grow. And I yeah. hope that you could stay in contact. Make sure you follow me. I'm gonna yeah, give you a that. follow. Okay, I, I just gave you a follow. Yeah, so Thank keep in contact yeah. with me. Let me know how things is going. And if you ever need, you know, any help, like if you're doing a class or something and you need to ask me a question, feel free to shoot me a message once I can answer because certain things I'm well-rounded with. So if I can be of help, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate so you, that. <laughs> You're welcome. I guess you just yeah. found a Jamaican mama. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing right there. Look at that, guys. Yeah, I, I, I know. I know. Um, As I said, I have a son and I like to see other young men do well because you can't only wish well for your children. You have to wish well for others too, so that's just yeah. my my thing so i'm here to... that, that's that's really good that's like uh, that's like the best thing to do like don't just 
rich bottom people and rich good on your kids and stuff. I heard. I know. Lot. I know. People yeah, people that, does that good. and don't realize that yeah. karma is real and it will come back to get you eventually. Mm-hmm. So I try my yeah. best not to do that because I want to see my kids succeed just as I want to see others succeed as well, especially my black brothers and sisters. We all have great potentials. Like we are smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So because yeah, some people don't like other success. So that's, that's not good. Like you it's, should, it's you not. know, it's not, mm-hmm. yeah. it's not. But um, as I said, um, whatever you put in, that's what you will get out. So if you study hard, then you will achieve big. And don't, I tell my my children this every day, don't settle for B's or C's. Start out aiming for A's. And if you end up with a B plus, then you're like, okay, I tried my best. But if you go in trying to get a B, then you will end up with a D or maybe a C minus because you set your goal too low, but aim a plus. If it drops down a little, then you can settle, but never settle for anything under an A plus. Yeah. Yeah. For the stars guys. No, for real. You, you, you have to, you have to, um, but it's, it's, it's a blessing. Um, blessing in here talking to you i guess we yeah, were sure, supposed to meet up tonight you know so that's yeah cool. it was, it was, <laughs> yeah i would really uh, i would text you if i need any advice it was so i was so glad hearing your advice it was so much nice i really appreciate oh, of it of course as i said i'm here i'm here so feel free to link uh, me uh you know whatever i can help with i'm here and yeah. um my son um, he's a very smart young man as well, so yeah, you should also he like try and yeah, get there. Yeah, he's he in like is. Um, eight, you say sixteen, so yeah. juniors, juniors. Yeah, he's yes, he's junior, so yeah. So yeah. soon he will be heading to college as well. So I'm preparing for that too. So yeah. that's a lot of preparation, yeah. but yeah, it is. It's a lot of work, man. It is, yeah. it is, but we'll do it. Did you yeah, try to get a scholarship? We'll um, yeah, I had a um, full tuition scholarship. You want to rematch? Because I guess if we play out that thing. Uh, yeah. Since we're still talking, might as well rematch and let it just continue going. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you got a full scholarship, you said? Yeah, full tuition scholarship. Um, and got some extra stuff but i might be paying for insurance like health insurance but that's all just around oh, like nice. 2k oh. yeah. everything else awesome. is paid for awesome awesome yeah. oh so see you're already you know what you're doing kudos <laughs> um, i yeah that makes me smile kudos for that that's really yeah, good yeah. but you know you have to go now and continue working hard to keep those scholarships because yeah yeah, because some people feel like, oh, I got the scholarship, but now you have to still yeah, go in and work it. really, really hard. Yeah. Keep it up and deserve it. And, yeah. 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 I know your parents, they're good. really proud of you. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I like to see. I love to see young men doing great, you know? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I look at some of the young men outside and, you know, the profanity and their pants hanging down and they're doing some stuff. And I'm like, what are they doing? They don't even know what they're doing to their young reputations. Yeah, because us, like, especially coming from a um, African and a Muslim back, like, family, it's Mm -hmm. like, I was taught to, like, not do those stuff. Like, I was taught a lot, like, being African, especially if anyone know, being like from a, you know, low background and stuff, mm-hmm. you're always getting that advice, that talk to be the best and do your best. Try always aim for the stuff and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Because that's your main goal. You know, that's why when I came into this country, I did not play. 
I made sure I went to school. I did what I was supposed to do because I was not going to be that girl who just did not do anything with her life. I wanted to know that I accomplished something. I have something behind my name. It's not just my name because once you get a degree, even if it's an associate degree, when you sign your name, you can put that in those credentials behind your name. And it means a lot because you accomplish more than what another person accomplished. So you have to give yourself, you know, a tap on the shoulder and said you did well and just continue going. Well, me, when it was I, a little uh, hard because mm -hmm. I came when I was like, um, when I was 12. Right. Um, I didn't know the language or anything. It took you a while, yeah. Talking. Yeah what people are saying and stuff so but i got used to it look at you today you speak perfect english you see that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's that's how i felt when i when i first came into new york city um it was such a culture yeah, shock for me hmm? yeah. what was that you was in new york yeah i was in new york as before we moved here okay cool cool yeah, yeah exactly. and and um, when I came here, it was a culture shock because where I used to live in Jamaica was more in the countryside. So I was not a city girl and coming into this big city was so frightening. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was going to do. But as I started going to, um, to high school and getting used to, you know, the way they do things and meeting a few friends, it got better over time and then i started feeling a little bit more comfortable and i mean look at you know look at me today i'm like yeah you succeeded you did your thing yeah <laughs> it was so. the same with me i uh, like came here didn't know anything it was all different I had to get used to everything the language the people the mm -hmm. environment it wasn't easy but if you really yeah. want to achieve something you can do it like just believe no it's true it's true yeah. Yeah. And believe is key. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't realize that success comes in many different form. Um, they just feel like it has to just be handed over to you on a platter. It doesn't work that way. You Not have to earn work it. really Not hard. It. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. and if you want something in life, you have to go after it. You have to like fight for it. It's true. It's true. Yeah and some people don't feel that way they just some feel people like it just come to them like naturally but that's not how life yeah. works you have to work for what you want in life exactly exactly that's key um mm -hmm. but you know the sky is the limit and one day you will have a story to tell yeah. just the way that i feel that i at this point in life i want to write a book at some point yeah. And because I have so much to tell, and you know, it's just so much. Yeah, you should because you give great advice. Like that's a good idea. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, yeah. it's 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 one of my my it's on it's one of my things that that's on my agenda to do, and I know I'll do it. I don't know you when, <laughs> but I know I will because I I did um I did a thesis for my yeah. master's program, and that was um geared towards children aging out of foster care and i that was like really good because most times when children age out of fast um foster care they go right back into the system because they don't really have a family they don't have a home for themselves so a lot of times they end up being homeless and imagine you having a home from you were say five six years old all the way till you're 21 and then you ended up back into the system back into the shelters back on the streets with no guidance or no one to help you out um so i i did my thesis on that and you know young people can start learning that you know you have to start making a life for yourself and that will prevent you from going back to the streets or going back to the shelters so that's basically what the book was geared you know the thesis was geared towards and it was really good my my professors really loved it 
and i also maybe at some point in life i want to straighten and maybe do a book on that because it's a big issue that nobody really speaks about yeah. so I, yeah that would be a good book to help people out yeah mm -hmm. no it, it would because a lot of young people they feel like okay i found a foster yeah. family and sorry <laughs> no it's it's fine i know you're home don't worry about it it's okay yeah oh the victory mat so you have to um i think it, it oh this is the victory mat that's handing out right now i guess okay yeah yeah so you know as i said it's really really nice thank you for stopping by yeah. I appreciate you, so you really and I'm going to continue yeah. praying for you and remember me in your prayers when you pray because I know you pray a lot. I will. Yes, I yes. got you, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate the advice and everything. Guys, go give her a follow. She really deserves it. Give me great advice. Thank yes, you. Thank you. All right. Take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye. All right. You take too. care. Bye there. All righty. Oh, that was really nice um that young man um it was a blessing talking to him i love to give great advice to young people because um they're our future and without young people then we don't have a future so if you can drop a word of advice to someone who is younger than you or to a youth or a young man or a young woman yes go ahead and do that because it's a blessing um when you can help them to want to continue doing great and to succeed in life um i have